Welcome to Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad here with Dr. Brian Maher, our superintendent in the Sioux Falls Public Schools. It's hard to believe, but we are actually closing in on the end of our second month of school, um, which doesn't seem quite possible, but that means we're looking at uh, end of first quarter, conferences. How are things going so far in, the, in this school year? You know, I, I I think pretty good. Many times in my seat, I'm the last to know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the first to know, sure. but uh, many times I'm the last to know. But uh, anecdotally, we've got very good information back on the start of the year, how smooth mm -hmm. it's gone, mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Um, so I, I think when I hear from the field, um, teachers uh, in, in general and building principals specifically, I'm hearing good things just in terms of student behavior and those things that really have a lot to do with um, our perception of how well things are going. So I, I think we're off to a good start. Right, very good. Well, as I mentioned, we'll be approaching conference time. And of course, we would encourage parents to participate in those parent-teacher conferences, an opportunity to have a face-to-face -face discussion with your child's teacher to learn about you know, what goes on in the classroom, their strengths, things they need to work on. Um, talk a little bit about the importance of, of that conference opportunity. Yeah, you know, one of the things we talked about in our strategic plan was community engagement. And we have several avenues, several forums for community engagement. Well, one of those avenues is parent-teacher conferences mm -hmm. and, that, and that very specific parent engagement, engagement in just knowing about your own student. And I'm, I'll take my superintendent half, hat off for a minute, put my parent hat on, and I'm reminded of when my, my youngest was in middle school and there was a, there was a math component that the teacher said that, uh, she was struggling with. Well, not only was I the superintendent, I was a former math teacher and I was wondering what could that be and gosh, is this teacher even right? Right. And went home and had a dialogue with my daughter and it was, number one, the teacher was spot on. <laughs> and number, number two, it gave me an opportunity as a parent to have some interaction with my daughter. Mm -hmm. and, in, and in my instance, on that particular math concept, and, uh, and she, did, she did quite well, she was a very good student, mm -hmm. but um, just that one little piece of information was so critical. And as somebody who is inundated with school information and a math teacher, and that still was, was beyond me. Right. So I think you, it, you, you'll be surprised at the information you can get that is meaningful to you as a parent and to your child as a student. Obviously there's that academic component, but um, teachers are uh, trying to build relationships with students as well in terms of you know, finding out about who they are and what needs that they have to become a better learner and that type of thing. So sometimes those social conversations with teachers are just as important as the academic, your child is earning grade X or what have you, but that, that social interaction and maybe some notice, you know, noticing something about their behavior or something along that line that, that can be really telling for a parent as well. Bring up a really good point. Many times the, the engagement piece that we talk about isn't for that night or, or, mm -hmm. that, or that day, but it might be about building that relationship piece between the student and the teacher or between the parent and the teacher. Mm -hmm. So that in the future, if my child's having an issue, maybe that issue has nothing to do with the content, mm -hmm. but maybe it's personal in nature. Now I've got that relationship, I can make that phone call or go in and visit, and that's easier. Uh, but also, uh, maybe two weeks down the road or four weeks down the road, there's something else. Sure. And that relationship's intact. Now we can have that dialogue and it's easier to have at that point. So. Even if it doesn't seem abundantly clear that there's a reason to go in that night, you may be setting the stage for that communication in the future. Right, absolutely. And our, our teachers are communicating on a daily basis with families uh, through email or phone calls. And, and we do encourage that, that you don't have to wait for conference time um, to have this conversation, although it's a great opportunity. But anytime somebody has a question, concern, we certainly encourage them to contact us. Without a doubt. And take advantage of the, of the conference for those times when a, a more formal approach isn't necessary. Right, very good. Well, like I said at the beginning, hard to believe, we're a couple of months in uh, to the 16-17 school year. Before mm -hmm. you know it, we'll be talking about uh, dismissal for another summer break. 
Well, that might be off a little <laughs> into the future, but we'll, we'll get to that I in like a couple of months. Optimism. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today on Admissions.